signal. Hello and welcome to today's late afternoon show. I'm your host Kate Bowd and today we have award-winning film director who just had his movie screened in Hollywood last week. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome writer, director, and editor Shridhar Ranganath. Nice to have you here. Thank you, Pleasure. Sam, for Thank joining you. us, mm -hmm. for taking time out of your busy schedule. Now, Sam, first thing we'd like to know is where you were born. I was born um, in India. It's a city called Bangalore. It's in the southern part of India. Um, who were your inspirations growing up and why? Uh, first, it was my family. Uh, my father, he was in a theater. I grew up watching him uh, on stage. Uh, he was doing a lot of uh, theater stuff back then. And my mom, she used to watch a lot of movies, and I used to go with her all the time, and uh, movies, 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 so it kind <laughs> of, uh, you know, was all over me. Right. And uh, how did you get started in the business? Um, well, um, it's, it's funny how they refer to filmmaking as business mm -hmm. these days. It is a kind of become like that, so it's always better to keep it a balance. It's more of an art. It's, it's the best form of art, actually, filmmaking is and it's the most uh, hardest form of art to make it happen. So uh, I started doing in 2003, uh, actually uh, late 2002. And uh, ever since then I've been doing a lot of things, uh, but haven't really been uh, successful making money out of my projects yet. So hopefully soon. I see. And um, when did you move to the States? 2001. 2001. And why did you choose to move to New York? Um, it just actually happened. I didn't really have a, a proper understanding of which place is better until I got here. My brother used to live in New York and I actually um, got enrolled at uh, in, um, Oklahoma State University okay. and uh, I did my MBA for six months over there and then I took a transfer because uh, media in New York is the place to be for media and uh, I took a transfer and since then I've been in New York. And, uh, all right, and um, I know that you won an award in New York mm -hmm. at the film festival. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, the first award that I won in New York was for the best uh, short film. And uh, the short film that I did, uh, it's called Glimpse of Dawn. Uh, it's a tribute for the Pink Floyd. It's, it's my favorite band, all oh, time me favorite. Too. <laughs> oh, cool. And by the way, uh, one of my inspirations was Pink Floyd, too. You know, they influenced me in a lot of ways. So. Uh, uh, yeah, it was my first shot. I got really uh, passionate about that shot, um, and Pink Floyd's uh, songs were used for that shot. So it was uh, it was a great experience, and visually it's, it's amazing. So uh, I won the best uh, visual shot award. Well, that. that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, um, which is your favorite job? I know you do directing as well as editing and writing. Mm -hmm. uh, which one do you prefer, and why? I prefer directing, uh, just because uh, 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 writing and editing is a part of directing, mm -hmm. and uh, editing is uh, is definitely important for the movie to be able to you know uh, to have a complete package. Editing is definitely important, but at the same time, uh, directing is is the main thing, as everybody knows. Um, right. So I would rather direct. Uh, editing is kind of, uh, it's too much of work involved and, <laughs> and I try not to, so I Well, do you ever have any um, associate directors helping you out? Yeah, definitely. Um, I have uh, this creative director that I just met recently and uh, she is also a, a great filmmaker, Erica Ford, and uh, she'll be probably working with me um, in a lot of uh, projects, future projects. Great, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, now, how did you come across uh, the concept of this movie, The Gleam? Did you have any uh, personal experience? No, not really. Um, I grew up uh, watching, uh, not watching actually, uh, I heard a lot of stories written by Edgar Allan Poe. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is actually based on one of his stories. Uh, it's about bringing dead people back to life. And uh, so I just kind of incorporated that into uh, a story and it just happened. This movie kind of, uh, the story was 80% uh, done and uh, in pre-production it kind of, uh, we had a full 100% uh, of what we were looking for and uh, it just happened. Great, well I know you brought a clip here with us today so mm -hmm. let's go ahead and take a look. Sure. You fool. Greatest moment of my life! You see my power. You have worked with me. You have faith in me. Take this. Take your life. I gave it back to you. You know I came.
by beating hard to leave your body. Well, can you tell us a little bit about the scene there that we just saw? Okay, uh, this is a film noir dark comedy. The genre of this movie is is uh, is more a cult uh, style, and uh, the two characters. Uh, one is the doctor. Uh, his name is Zensky. He's a mad scientist, and uh, that's his assistant. Um, this scientist he wants to uh, conduct an experiment on a human body to bring the dead uh, body back to life. So he asks his assistant to go get a, a dead body and he fails to get one, he fails to find one. So the doctor says, why don't you kill yourself? Uh, you've been living with me, you've been eating my food, you're of no use, uh, you know, I want to put you to some use. Kill yourself and I'll bring you back to life. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. So uh, this is, uh, you're not supposed to take this movie seriously. It's just, uh, it's a dark comedy and uh, it's supposed to be watched uh, in theaters. <laughs> if you watch on TV, you might not uh, like it that much, but in theater, yeah, definitely. Well, it sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us about any other productions you have in the making? I have a couple of things coming up. A uh, music video, a documentary about an artist uh, who just signed a record deal. And uh, I'm working on my next feature. I'm writing my next script. It's, it's a murder mystery. A murder mystery? Yeah. Where did you come up with that concept? <laughs> Well, it's, I, that's my style, actually. I like uh, directing. Uh, I can't do comedy. It's, it's not my style. Maybe dark, dark comedy, yes, but uh, thriller, suspense, murder mystery, that's always been my style. And uh, so murder mystery is my next venture. And so when do you envision uh, this coming into the theaters? That, uh, 2008, definitely. So uh, we're going to go on production maybe early 2008. Great. Now, do you have any associate directors helping you with this one? Uh, Erica Ford, she's going to be a creative director. Other than that, uh, no, I have a DP in mind and uh, I have a couple of actors in mind. If I mention their names, it's going to be kind of <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, funny to some extent, but uh, I don't know. Let's see, That's depending okay. on the budget. That's okay. Yeah. Well, um, now for all those aspiring directors, what advice can you offer to those who are just starting out in the field? Directors? Um, just go out, just make movies, as many as possible, short movies, uh, music videos, anything that you want. Just uh, just keep making movies and uh, keep showing and share it with people. Great, okay. thank you. Um, well, that's all the time we have today. Thank you, Sam, for joining us. My pleasure. Um, please tune in next time. I'm your host, Kate Bowd, and um, please check out the new movie coming out, The Gleam, to theaters near you. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope this is a good one.